morning everyone. Welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. And as you can see, it's very busy in here, isn't it? Mad. Yeah. Anyhow, I just said girls, let's get Bonnie. going. And Rob went, I'm not a girl. <laughs> he is <laughs> today. But he is today. today. <laughs> so, okay, so it's admin day today. So I think that there Maria's called the post party admin, have you Maria? Party admin, admin party, whatever it is. But basically, we're having a group meeting today, so I've invited everyone down. We're all going out for lunch later, just like we need it. But, <laughs> so we're all going out for lunch either. So I said they've got to work for their dinner, and that means they've got to do a demo. So I'm so pleased they're here. The kitchen is absolutely full of quick, easy recipes. So we've got four recipes. I'm not doing anything simply because there was no space. <laughs> so I'm glad. <laughs> so just to let you know, this is Lindsay McIver, and Lindsay is from Jolly Scotland. Yes, I am. Where? From Glenrothes Faith. I'm not going to repeat that. It's just make that louder. Where is it? Glenrothes Faith. <laughs> right. Okay. You will hear. We've got a noise in the background. We have got to have the air conditioning on today. Anybody out of the UK will be surprised that the UK. Well, you won't be surprised because it's all over your news. But the UK is having a heat wave and today is going to be the hottest day. We've had the air condition lastly for two hours and we are still hot, yeah. aren't we? We are still hot, but that's probably because there's so many of us in the kitchen. So um, this is Lindsay from Scotland. Rob? Hello. Hello, Rob. And where are you from? Near As I rest my arms. Near, <laughs> near Sunderland. Near Sunderland, so we've got all the accents in here today. We just need to bring the Irishman in, John, and we'll be sorted. And then we've got um, uh, Jackie from locally, Manchester. Manchester. Yeah. And where are you from, Manchester? I'm from North Manchester as well. Yeah, right. and Karen on the end there, she's from Manchester as well, and I'm from Cheshire because I'm a small. Up the Manchester. <laughs> Up the Cheshire girls. <laughs> But we're well, not like the Real Housewives. Yeah. <laughs> it's much calmer in here. Well, now and again it gets a bit fruity. Yeah. <laughs> so there's five of us in the kitchen. Laura is behind the camera. Hi, Laura. Hi. Hi, Laura. Hi, Laura. Hi. Maria is in the kitchen. Hi, Hi Maria. <laughs> and I have no idea how Maria is going to do this today. How she's going to get five of them around and make five little videos from this lot today. And guess what? Maria, as per usual, is wearing a cardigan. The hottest day <laughs> of the year. This is what happens when a Spanish girl comes to the UK. She is cold. She's not climatised yet. So you'll see her bobbing around with a cardigan, a cardigan on. I can't believe it. She's wearing tights the other week. Thick, woolly tights. Can you believe it? And then we do have a little tiny voice in the kitchen, but we can't put her on Facebook. But Lindsay has brought her daughter, Talia. Hi, Talia. Hi, Talia. Go on, you can speak. Nope. She didn't tell she's not allowed to speak, so she's not. You're going to shout hi. No, no. <laughs> we're not going to here either. She's been told she's got to sit there and play with the toys and be quiet. So, <laughs> so first up is Jackie. I'm also going to pop in and show you some new products that we've got. I'm going to do a quick one of those. So all these have got to work very, very fast. And while we all get into position, I'm going to let Laura shout out who's joined us this morning. If you're a newbie, let us know that you're here. And... Um, and all these admin members, when I say admin, they're part of the Sugar and Crumbs, all about cake community. So these are the ones who let you join the group, and these are the ones who boot you out when you don't behave. <laughs> <laughs> so, so don't blame me, I always blame them. Sorry. <laughs> right, okay then, so I'll let, I'll let everybody get in position. Jackie is up first. And then Laura, do you want to let us know who's here? Yeah, we've got a really good audience this morning, a lot, lots of familiar names. So hi to Elaine Lawton, Kat Riley, Wendy Campion, Jane Temple, Kathy Dance, Wendy Ann Preston, Julie Crompton. Yes, it's very busy in the kitchen this morning, <laughs> Julie, as you can see. What oven temperature do you want? One so yeah, there's lots of familiar names. Um, good morning to everyone, Nikki, <laughs> Julie, Deb. Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, and like Carol said earlier, if you've got any questions, Pop your comments on and I will try and get round to them just as we get through everyone's recipes. If we don't get round to everything today, we will go back over the Facebook Live comments and we'll try and go through every question that we've got on there. So away you go, Jackie, whenever you're ready. Okay. This morning I am making peanut butter and salted caramel blondies. And you have to shout. Now yes. you're very quiet, Jackie. But you have to shout today because we've got this big boy in the okay. background. Was that all right? Did you hear me? <laughs> you can hear me right, I'm going to start off with 100 grams of butter and a 
150 grams of peanut butter. And I'm just going to mix this together. I'm being old school today, I said I'm not having a mixer today. So you see my bingo wings going and everything. <laughs> Hopefully they'll help the bingo wings. I've used the, um, the soft um, blur cap butter. I find it easy to mix together, to be honest. All right, once you've got that together, right, I'm using these, and they're called cacao um, nibs, and they're like um, the untreated chocolate beans, I think, some, some kind of, I don't know if you can show them here, can you see them? Oh yeah, that's perfect. I want that camera again for me. Under that, oh, just over this the bowl. Under the bowl. That's it. And it's just to give it extra crunch and they do actually taste nice. And I put 60 grams of those in. Just mix those in with it. Uh, are we going for smooth or crunchy peanut butter, Jackie? Totally up to you. I'm a crunchy person, but I mean, you know, whichever you like best. Works with both. And that's... Uh, because, I mean, I'm using crunchy and I'm using them, them nibs. I just like the extra crunch in them. Okay. All right, next we've got 175 grams of the uh, sugar and crumbs salted caramel icing sugar. I'll try not to make too much of a cloud. This was the other reason that I did want to use a mixer as well because it is quite a lot of icing sugar and it does make a nice big cow. Looks very quiet in here then, it is. It's it's got is. Sorry about that. I like it. Quite silent then. It is quite a dry mix this, even when everything's in, like the egg and everything, it is quite a dry mix, but don't worry about it. And um, so Kat Riley, just to answer your question, the salted caramel element is coming from the flavoured icing sugar. Yeah. Yeah. You wouldn't need any more in because it, it's 175 grams of icing sugar, so you know, you wouldn't need any extracts in there. Uh, oh, Judy Crompton says it is a treat having you lot in together. And Gerald D. Kisby says it's really fabulous to see you four together. <laughs> right, one egg. Do you like their new aprons, eh? Oh yes, very posh. Yeah. So, rub up these designs, lovely they are. You bling now, don't you? <laughs> it's only took two years for us to bling. <laughs> Never know, we might have flyers next. Yeah. <laughs> Going right in the world. Is that, just to confirm, is it unsalted peanut butter? Unsalted peanut butter? I well, mine's some part, so I don't. Oh, I don't well, know. yeah, well, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah actually, you can get unsalted mm -hmm. peanut butter. Yeah. Salted peanut butter, mm -hmm. yeah, of course you can. Oh, because right. you get, you just get peanuts, don't you? Yeah, true. And some, yeah. Of them, some of them are salty and some of them are plain. So, which it's one have top, you got? Top. Where's your packet? Well, I haven't got it with me. It's, uh, oh, no, it's the. Some part, some part I'll get one. Yeah. Right. The thing well, is, it is, it's. Um, it wouldn't matter if it was salted anyway, because it'll go nice with the. You've got the salt yeah. and the caramel, so it tastes nice, whatever. You should smell it. I made it yesterday and I was gutted I didn't make two. Jane Temple's asking, How many does this feed? Me, if it's. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to feed many after Maria's no, chucked no, in. No, no. Uh, it depends on the size of the slices you want to do. You know, you want to do bite sizes or a nice big chunk, or like I said, if it's me, you have it. Mm -hmm. Right, next to go in there is 125 grams of plain flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. I've already put the baking powder Shout in. Shout out, Jackie. Sorry. 125 grams of flour and one teaspoon of baking powder. Like I said, it is quite a fairly dry mix, but don't worry about it. Uh, no cap. I don't, we don't think it matters. It doesn't make it too salty, but to be honest, Jackie's used the Sunpat brand of peanut butter, 
So whatever that is, whether it's salted or unsalted, that's, that's what's gone into the recipe. And it tastes good. And to be fair, it's personal choice. If I was going to say, personally, me, if I was picking up, I would always pick up salted because I like things very salty. Yeah. So, yeah. But if you don't like it salty, just pick up the normal one. It took me a minute. I thought she was talking about the icing sugar, and I was thinking, don't have <laughs> icing sugar. Yeah. I'm like, that, it's hot, too. Wait a minute. <laughs> I thought I'd missed something. Right. Next, you want um, a lined tin. Normally, don't, I, I actually butter mine because um, with it being a dry mix, when you're trying to spread it, that everything's flying up and down. So I, I butter it, that's what I do. You have to keep shouting up, Jackie. You keep going down at home. All right, so. Can I help being a nice, quiet girl? Can I? No, you can't. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? For a Manchester know, girl, how quiet you are. <laughs> Such a quiet lady. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you can't lie. <laughs> but Manchester girls know how to be vocally active. You should hear me when I'm shouting the dogs in. <laughs> Perhaps that's the voice that I should use while Absolutely. I'm doing this. You've just got to remember you've got this bad boy going on in the background. Sure, yeah. You're quiet anyhow. So, just put that into your tin. Get it all nice and uh, flat. Nice and flat, she says. You see what I mean? I've actually buttered that and it's still coming away, so just, just watch what you're doing. Oh, while I'm doing this, can someone just... I've got some um, chocolate buttons and I put them in a piping bag. And sure. I, you're going to put them in the microwave, aren't you? Yeah. Don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't ask, I won't ask Carol, because last time I asked her, she'd burn them. Yeah. Um, I just put them in the piping bag ready. Right. So, so how do we not burn them, Jackie? Right. Because I burn them all the time. First time, 30 seconds. Take them out, give them a switch, and then just do 10 seconds, maybe 10 or 20 seconds, and just see how they're going. Do you have to add any oil to them? Nothing, no. Nope. It's just um, cabbage, giant buttons in there. <laughs> Sam Foreman saying it looks so yummy already. It, it really does. And oh, it smells I the yummy smell. already. I tell you what, when he's cooking in a bit, I made it yesterday and Rob, you just come in, didn't you? And he went. And I went, I know, why didn't I make two? <laughs> so Elaine Lawton has just said I need to get those little mini microphones because somebody's not speaking loud enough. Sorry. So uh, they will be on my wish list this week. Jackie, how long after the flush down the Well, do they look? Let's have a look. Let's show the camera. Right, that's 30 seconds. So I'll give them a switch. So I, I'd go for about another... 10 seconds and see how it feels and then another 10 after that if it's still there's still some hard bits. We have to say this batter tastes really nice. It's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. it's gorgeous. Right this it's needs a, this goes in the oven for 35-45 minutes on um, 150 fan. Don't forget it's a brownie so it doesn't have to be so it'll come up and it, then it'll drop, it'll down. drop down and yeah. it'll be a bit squidgy when you yeah. take it out but once you cool it'll so when you see it sunk it hasn't sunk that's what's meant to happen yeah yeah so right. it is well it's, I say it's brown it's a blonde egg but it's the same idea as the brown yeah. egg. so this is straight into the oven and so just to recap for anyone who's just joined us um, <laughs> jackie's on first and jackie's doing peanut butter and salted caramel blondies and then we'll run through what everyone else is doing as as they come on just because it's there's, a, there's four recipes going on today, so there's lots to, happening. Do you want to go through the recipe once more? Yeah, go on then. Right, so we started off with 100 grams of butter, 150 grams of peanut butter, mix them together. Then we use the cake. I always never know how to say it, but... Cake or? Cake, it's not cacao. 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 Cacao, cacao. cacao nibs. Yeah. There were 60 grams of them. 175 grams of the... Oh, yeah. That's the cacao nibs. We've just started using these. It just gives it a nice bit of a crunch, and mm. it's like having. Where did you get them from? A supermarket. Yeah, I think Sainsbury's is selling them at the moment, um, and it gives it a crunch. And it's like um, a big hit of chocolate. Mm. 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 M
Is it? Yeah, and it's very nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Carol's going by in some way. No, I'm not. So, I'm staying away from oh, yeah, we're up to the dip. So, like 175 grams of the salted caramel icing sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of baking powder, and 125 grams of uh, plain flour. And that's it. And I've, here's one we made earlier. <laughs> I've just taken off the air conditioning so we can hear Jackie. Sorry. <laughs> she keeps going down at home. Alright, this is us. Right, can you, so can you see how it's it's gone in the middle? But that's that's how it's supposed to be. So you get your ice, your piping bag, just snip the end off. I mean this is just purely me, this is more peanut for me, but um you yeah, don't have I think to this, I think this finishes it off. You don't have to, but you know. If you're going to do it, do it proper. Absolutely. So we'll put first layer on. And I've got some reason. I had a nightmare finding these. Where did you find them? They were in a reduced box at my local paper shop. I've been in all the big shops. And I was like, <laughs> otherwise, even, you're going to have to resort to smart. Even artists. lost my bank That's card fine. finding oh, these. Karen says they've got them in Tesco. No, nope, not so my Tesco. We've got a, my local one's got a big American mm. section. Well, you know what? Can always use MMs. Yeah. Sure. Well, that's what I bought, but yeah, I'm in bed last night. <laughs> <laughs> Once I've seen these, that was it. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, as long as you don't tell us about any other bedroom activities that we're doing. Hey, I lost my bank card getting these while you lot. I lost my bank card yesterday getting these. Did you? Yeah, because I was panicking and I thought, do you know what, I'll just see if they've got any. And I went back down. Tell us something. Don't, well, I went back and it had gone, so. And there you go. There we go. There's my peanut butter and salted caramel. And can we get that on the top of the it is. is it safe to go top yet or should we wait? Uh, I'd wait because of the chocolate's just going to smear Brilliant. all over, but we'll probably so do it by the end. Yeah, that's super. Brilliant, right. So, that's Jackie up. Who's well next? Done. So, well done, Jackie. How Thank was you. That, Jackie? I know. Very that cool. wasn't bad, was yeah. it? On the ball, on the ball. They've all been given 15 minutes each, so basically <laughs> we did a five minute intro. So now, Karen Naylor is up, so this is another admin. So she's got 15 minutes. Do you think you can do that, Karen? Oh, absolutely. And I know that Karen can speak out loud enough <laughs> because she does. She marries people. She's I a do. So she she has that lovely event of going to weddings and getting people married. So I know you can speak up up across the congregation. Most definitely. <laughs> so what are you making today, Karen? Well, I'm going to make pineapple um, soft pineapple crumble bites. Yeah, well they sound okay. a bit nice, don't they? They're they're nice. The very first thing I'm going to do is line my tin. Can you see and I'm using foil. There we go. Okay. You just so it. Dead easy. There's the top of the minute. Get it in. Scrunch it down. Job done. Okay. <laughs> in order that it doesn't stick, get your cake release. Bit of a spray and set that on one side. That's the tin prep. How quick was that? <laughs> okay, but today I'm using the pineapple um, icing sugar. So, I've got 150 grams of butter. No, I haven't. I've got 125 grams of butter. Half a pack. I've got 150 grams of plain flour. And I've got 75 grams of the sugar and crumbs icing sugar. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to get two forks. Because so normally I get my hands in there. Yeah. Yeah, but I know Carol doesn't like things that's squished by hand, so I'm going to use two forks. And all I'm going to do is just. Under that camera there? Yeah, that's the yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, and all you want to do is just make sure that all your flour is coated with butter. We're making a crumble mix at the end of the it's day. It's quite interesting to make it with forks. So that stops me because I hate powder and stuff like that on my fingers. Yeah. And it's funny when I go and have my nails done and stuff like that. <laughs> she has to keep brushing them all the time and yeah, shaking them while well. I drive them out. I can't eat I can't eat buns with flour on. You know when you get a sandwich and yeah, you get flour, flour on. The Ooh. trouble with doing it with a mixer is that this, particularly in this weather, if you'd overdo it and it can go over very quickly, it turns into like a pastry type of um, consistency, which is not what you want. So we've got one eagle hawk in the kitchen. Oh, he yeah. wants to know, is that a magnet you've got on your chest there, Karen? Well, it was, but I've turned it into a badge. Yeah. 
So that is the new magnets that are being dispatched today. Well done, Kat Riley. Well As done, ever. Kat. She spots everything now. She girl, does, doesn't she? she? Yeah, she, she really, really is. Yeah, yeah, she really is. Yeah. The eagle eye. Yeah, she, she doesn't miss a trick. So well done, Kat Riley. This, uh, Karen has actually managed to put her new fridge magnet on her chest. I don't know if you've done that. Don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> Actually, I've got another one underneath it and they're sticking together. Uh, and just to make sure it stays there, I've got the cell tape on it as well. So, okay. anybody who's ordering today, you'll get this lovely new fridge magnet. Right. That's the crumble mix. Ready, done. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to set aside a third of that. The rest of it is going to go into our tin. Um, so, Wendy Campion, it's the pineapple flavoured icing sugar that Karen's used. Um, okay. And all I'm going to do is just press that into the tin, making sure that the oil goes into the corners. And if you wanted to, if you want to prettify it, you can take it up the sides to make a bit of a crust up the sides. You can see that I actually did that. See, I like that. I, I like the crunchy bits. Yeah, and it does crunch. It's, yeah. it's really nice. So guys, well, everything that we're showing you with the flavours, what have you got going on there? That one's frozen. Yeah, You've got a camera that's frozen? This is frozen. It's all right. I've still got Karen, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Matt, how how would you You're better off with a mix rather than no, a mix. Okay. Would you want me to fill? Yes, if you Okay. So, so that's now ready to go into the oven. Oh, is it going into the oven It's now? going to go into the oven for just for 10 minutes on the 180. Okay, so we're just going to start it to dry out. Okay, so. so just let me see that. Great, fabulous. Okay. I'm just taking over technical duties at the moment. We've had a camera freeze on us, so we might have to use another camera. Maria's just trying to sort it out. And, and because we're on earlier. Because I'm on the time. Oh, time constraints. Alma admins are so good. There's one that I did earlier. earlier. <laughs> Blue Peter's got nothing on us. Absolutely. Okay. I'm just right, gonna try to I'm just going to change still with us. We've not lost anybody else. No. Just right, come. Can you see what's going on here? Okay. All I'm doing is I'm transferring the leftover mix into another bowl because I want the bowl that I've used to make the filling. Okay. So we're just swapping foams here. Do you think it wasn't charged? No, it's frozen. Just frozen. Yeah. Right, okay. Okay. Right, so for the filling, we're going to use Greek yogurt. Are we back on? Yeah. Okay, so if Sorry. I just get the Greek yogurt. Get the Greek yogurt. We've got 75 mils. You could use sour cream. This is plain Greek yogurt. Um, you could use a vanilla flavour if you wanted to. So that's going in there. We've also got 75, mil 75 grams of sugar and crumbs. I see sugar. I think that was my air conditioner, let me know it was on. <laughs> I turned it off a few minutes ago, but are we all getting hot? And we've got 75 grams. Do you want to turn it back 50 on? grams of plain flour. So we're just gonna okay. turn the we're just gonna turn the air con back on again guys. Because Karen's got a bigger cop than me. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see so in a minute, lady. <laughs> That's the same job, Peter. That was a very nice box. Okay, I'm just going to beat an egg up. And now that's the mix. Okay. Doesn't matter that you've used the same dish, you don't need to clean it all out. It was a spin today, Karen. Oh, why not? Why not? I can't keep up. I missed that for the film and the egg going in. The egg going in. Okay. I missed you beating it. I was too busy filming. Okay, I'm just going to use the hand whisk. It doesn't need to go into the mixer. So if we can just plug that in. Thank you. And all you see Maria with a cardigan on. Here we are, air con, everything else. All I want to do is just mix that up. And then the Until it goes smooth. And it only takes a couple of minutes. Make sure everything is incorporated. 
Yeah, just move your tin out of the way and show them because you need to be under this camera. That's it done. Just remember that guys, when you're here, you need to be under this camera, okay? So, now what we're going to do is we're going to fill the tin. And I'm going to just move that from one side to another. So I say, Karen, yeah. you, can, you can use any fruit in any flavour oh, that's yeah. sugar. Yeah. So if you wanted to use apples apple. and cinnamon swirl, that would yeah. be good. Or apple well, crumble flavour that's sugar. Well, apple crumble's oh. coming back in September. Oh, I love it. Woo. Yeah, I love it. So yeah. those of you who like the apple crumble flavour, that will be that's going in production in August, ready for September. <coughs> Toasted marshmallow was being made yesterday. So that should be back on the website soon, ready for the winter flavours. And um, so, if you wanted, to, if you want to use pineapple, use chunks of um, apple with cinnamon yeah, swirl. That absolutely. would be great. Absolutely. I've it? used tin pineapple chunks here. Yeah. Um, the first slot I made was tin pineapple slices, and I just yeah. made them as big or as small as you want. You could even use fresh pineapple yeah. if, if you wanted to do that. Okay. And now I'm going to tip the filling over. The mix, making Can you sure do it so that your hand is facing. Yeah, that better. Yeah, because you need to. Yeah, so okay. Right. Just make sure you get all this into the corners because you need to have this camera. You've got a bowl right in the way, you see. Okay. No, the other way. The you other need to have this way. That, that, that way. Right. Yeah, there we go. I'm left handed. It's an excuse. <laughs> and I left handed my. Yeah, well, you're not even a man. I'm a Lancashire, really, because oh, I was in Lancashire when I was born. They moved no. me. <laughs> Uh, we didn't like it. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to spread that around, making sure that everything is nice and covered. Easy recipe, isn't it? It is very, very easy. So the admins were told that they had to make easy recipes and I think they're achieving that today. Just tip it around, make sure it's all nice and coated. you got a spoon there if you want. You've got a metal spoon in there, go choose that. Fine. And to give it a bit of crunch, um, you sprinkle on some um, that. Coca uh, sugar. Yep. Put the crumble top back on. And how did you make the crumble top? In exactly the ah, same way. Right, this, is, exactly. this is a third of the mix ah, that I made. Right, okay, I so missed that. Third, two thirds of it in the tin. Yep. Reserved a third, and yep. this is just going to go over the top. Sprinkle the top. that over the top. Gives you that nice. Bit of crunchy effect over the top. See that? That's my favourite. That. Probably made a little bit too much there. No, um, there's never too there. much crumble. Okay, fair yeah, enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> right, and then we just need a, a big jug of custard now. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> and then I'm just going to sprinkle some sugar on it. I would normally use granulated, but I've only got castor with me. Um, but if you wanted to, a little bit different, you could use um, demerara. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top. And that's it done. Going into the oven, 180 degrees, 35 minutes. Our other one actually should be ready to come out. Yeah, because it's been 10. Yeah, yeah. so 35 minutes. Three more minutes of the things. Four. Three more minutes. Three more minutes. So that was only seven minutes. Right. Oh, good. Right. Well, I'm going to move that one down so you okay. can get yours in. So that there you go. In there. Let's clean the top. Who's next oh, up? It's me. It's Lindsay. Right. Let's clean the top then. Hey, we're doing well here. Look at this. This might be the fastest Facebook Live ever. I'll have to bring the admins all the time. I no. take two hours. It's not a problem. It's done in an hour. <laughs> So let's just get all this out. I'm just going to show you a few goodies a minute that's new in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. So I'm just going to get, so those were the pineapple chunks. So let's just show you under there, okay? So those are the pineapple just chunks, mm -hmm. bites. And to that way, your right, please. Okay. To the right, sorry. To the right? Yeah. Well, it's Am I going to the right? No, I don't know which way you're going. Well, the left, sorry. Sorry. I'm going to go to the right. This way. This way. You sound like me in the car, giving driving instructions. 
the no, we'll yeah. get lost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. well, we did get it at some point. Oh, did we ever get off the plate then? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we, we did get them. them. We got them. Don't worry. <laughs> so those are pineapple chunks made with the pineapple flavoured icing sugar. They look really good. Smashing crunch. The others are in the oven now. So we've done those. We've done... We've we just got them for putting with some custard. Yeah, we just need the custard. That's it. It's great. So just pass me a few things that I'm going to show on here. So do you want to pass me that box? I'll just show you some new goodies that have come in to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. I did show you them, I did a Facebook Live on Tuesday. Now the one on Tuesday was a bit of an impromptu live because we've got so many guests coming on, lucky us, that um, I, I can't got any time to show you when to do backdrops. So I don't know if any of you saw that backdrop one. It was only meant to be half an hour and ended up being an hour and 45, but that's because we went over how to take pictures and things like that. So um, we've got the dome tins in, okay. So these are in stock, they're six pounds something. So these are perfect for making these. So if you want to make one of these, or you want to make a football cake, or if you want to use it for making a minion cake using the top of the head for that dome shape. Um, I know Lindsay did that, so I didn't even think about that, but she was telling me last night. So we've got these in, I think they're about six pound fifty, something like that. So they're in stock. And then we have one of these little sprinkles. Can someone pass me a dish? I've already been eyeing them. Have you been eyeing them up? I have. Yeah. So I bought these sprinkles in, okay? And uh, there's five different types, just to let you know. So let's just open them up. Can you see them well enough down there? Yeah. So these are great. I mean, you wouldn't just use all these on your cake. What you need to do is mix these with other sprinkles that you've got. So I don't know if you can see them well enough there. Put, just push them towards the pink bowl a little bit, please. Pink bowl there. Yeah. What have you got? Five. Yeah. Five. You got them. Yeah. So you can see those there. So we've got the pebbles. Those. Look at those. They're big boys, them aren't they? Now these are chocolate. Yeah. So they're chocolate. So we've got a couple of those in there. And then we've got the um, these are these have got these have got pasta inside them. I'm not no, I'll, I'll just have to taste one. <laughs> They're very crunchy. <laughs> Where are we? Are we facing there? Or are we? A, a very crunchy. But I have to say, probably the nitrate pasta I've had. So they're nice. Oh, I've got two more of them in there. <laughs> two more of them in there. Maria's not getting any of these. I actually think that. These dive triangles. Can't remember after that one. <laughs> now we know why she wanted to do these today. Mm. They've got something white inside. Don't know what that is. They're on the instructions anyhow. But they're nice. I think it might be sugar actually. Alright, I'll have to go in my mouth. Alright, sorry. Just remember we're in the sugar and crumbs kitchen. Everything we've got here does not go out to the general public. Generally, Maria and Laura snuff the lot. Then it goes down to the warehouse. I do have a sneaky nibble. I'm on a diet, as you can tell. <laughs> so, what is up the square ones? Look at them. You see them? Is Laura just pinged over the camera? If you move your hand towards the pink bowl, that's it. Okay. Yeah. Thank I'll you. just have a try on one of these. Oh, they're white as well. They're not like chocolate, no. 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 Like a candy. Yeah. Have you got it there? And then, I think the love arts are the same, but we'll have a go. Yeah, they're the same. Yeah. Finish those off, so we've got a few of those in there. A few more of them in, a few more of them in, a few more of them in. And there you go, got a nice little, you know if you're doing a drip cake, something like that, you could just bling up your drip cake with those. Are we on the camera there? You have to so, the Karen Davies for the, um, for the Driftwood and did like a black and white cake and put all the silver like the shells. Yeah, on that would be quite nice, wasn't it? So those are all in stock. They're under edibles, and if you on, if you go on the website, they're in today's wish list. I think they are, and um, we haven't put everything in the wish list today, but I will go and put them in afterwards. So when the admins are cleaning in the kitchen, I'm going to do a quick escape, and uh, I'll get those I'll get those sorted out. So we'll just put those over there a moment, and then we brought in the chocolate. So I'll just Show you up there and then show you down there. So we brought in the cho chocolate pea ganache. 
We bought it in the 400 gram size, okay, in white and milk chocolate, the Calibut chocolate, perfect for melting. The one thing I'm not going to do is I'm not going to open them because if I open them, they taste so good, okay? And then we've also got it in the one kilo bags in the white and in the milk chocolate as well. Oh my. So, oh my. Oh my. <laughs> But Carol is not opening them because if I do, they will be scoffed. Believe me, they I taste good. That. Yeah. So they're in stock. So if you want to do it, you can ask them in the case. We've got those in stock. So let me just get this big box out of the way now. Let's get that tin out of the way. I've not put them on display because there's so much stuff here today. Okay. Um, a lot of you bought the crown cupcake cases. I've got them back in stock. So I've got them back in stock. They're the very last. The supplier I bought them off last time told me that she couldn't get any more. But she rang me last week and said, Carol, I've managed to get some more. These are fabulous cupcake cases. They come in 200s, and um, we only have them in red and white. And uh, you've got some of these, haven't you, Jackie? Yeah, they're lovely, they're lovely aren't they? They're really very nice. They're crown cases, but I've only got nine packets, I think. How many packets of the lemon was there? I don't know. I think there's only about 10, 15. There might be less than that of the lemon. There's plenty of red and there's quite a lot of white. So get your hands on these because these are lovely. I don't know whether you can see under there. They're lovely and thick. They don't um, have any grease come through when you do your bake. They're really very, very nice. Now, our, on Monday, we are doing a Facebook Live with Dawn Butler, okay? It's going to be a massive event. She is launching her new machine, okay? Now, we're going to be doing a two and a half hour session. That two and a half hour session, there's in there, we're going to take a 15 minute break. So you will have time, so be ready, half past seven, you're not gonna to wanna to miss this demo. If there's anything you want to learn about airbrushing, paints, colors, how to use a machine properly, Dawn is going to go through the whole lot. She's got a fantastic demo to show you. A whole new range of colours, the most amazing metallic colours as well. She is going to show you everything. We can't wait for that event, okay? We've only got limited stocks of the airbrush machine. They are en route to us by sea. They will be here. So on Monday, if you want one, you will have to press the buy button very, very quick because we will sell out Monday night. Dawn and I are fully aware of that. We know how many she's ordered, we know how many's route, but when you pay for shipping, the shipping by flight is very expensive, so these are coming by sea. They should have been here, but like everything, when they come by sea, you know, it takes a little bit longer. So on Monday night, if you want that new airbrush machine, some of you might be sneaky, but it won't be going live until I actually press the button at half past seven, okay? And there's only a few, but you will want them. So um, so it's a two hour and a half hour session, make sure you're around. The following Thursday, I'm actually on doing a live for you and I'm doing cake toppers with FMM um, mix and match face cutter, okay? But what I thought I would do is I'd also do a little dem with these. So you've seen me opening them and um, these are edible, flowers okay they are fantastic so you get 20 in a box so if you're not very good can you see those Laura if you're not very good at cutting out or you're in a rush then use these bad boys they've got 18 months on them okay so if you've got that cake up and you really want to make your cakes pop with perfect flowers then these daisies are lovely you will have to make your own leaves as you can see, Laura, Maria and I have been scoffing for the pink ones. What are you doing so I'm going to I'm going to do I'm going to decorate the cake. So what I'm actually going to do is if I get time um, over the weekend, I'm actually going to fondant the cake, get it ready, and what we'll do is we'll stick these flowers on before I start doing the cake toppers just so that you can see them. So that's next Thursday. So we'll use these up and I'll show you how to put these on a cake with some really nice leaves and we'll simplify it. I'm going to do a couple of, I'll have a cake prepared and then we'll put one together. Yeah? So we are using dummy cake. But look at how look how vibrant they are. Oh, They're right. gorgeous, yeah. aren't they? It's just so, so cupcakes with then yellow cases. That's a good idea, Jackie. 
I need you here next Thursday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what we like. Then, yeah. I hadn't thought about cupcakes with one of those on. Now these are, are we back on this camera? Okay, so these are, do you remember those candy sticks when you were a kid? So I really shouldn't say this, but we're, all of us will know this in our age group. You used to have candy sticks were white with a little red end and they were called little cigarettes. cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk about I've it's, never been a smoker. Now, yeah, exactly what they are. I've never been a smoker, so I don't know, but my generation of parents and grandparents all smoked. So us kids used to go around with a little candy stick in and thought we were cool. And then obviously rules would come <laughs> in that it wasn't a good idea to be encouraging children to smoke. So we don't. But now what we have, we have them and they're called candy sticks you get them spider-man yeah, and yeah, monsters yeah. and all sorts of things well they taste very much like that but they're softer so you don't break your teeth because some of them were really rock hard weren't they but these are absolutely lovely what do you think of those are you liking them uh, yeah so we've got those and the pink ones have been scoffed by laura maria and our myself laura's shaking her head with shame <laughs> and then those are the purple ones have you got those in those are the purple ones. How beautiful Ooh, are them? Can you imagine? The yellow ones. Now, I've got to be honest, Jackie, I like that idea, making cupcakes yeah. for them, and I I'll think I'll open those there. up. Yeah, good so, you know, we've got a couple of ideas floating around. We might get this Jackie Heaton back next week, <laughs> helping me. She's coming up with some ideas there. And then, what I really do like is these bad boys. Now, these bad boys, I think Laura's got them on the camera there, are roses made of the same stuff and this is an assorted box okay and these I think they're $14.99 now we all love making roses except for me I hate making them okay I find them really very difficult and really I don't have time but I know lots of you love them and you get a great achievement out of them but these are sugar soft and they're soft they don't go floppy everyone is perfect they're all individually handmade you get six of the small ones so look at those can you see that on that camera should i get closer <laughs> no there right right we need to have communication with laura no, this, is like, this is like speaking to john this is like <laughs> john was sacked. so john was sacked from the kitchen because he does not communicate with carol <laughs> and we've got problems because next week laura goes on holiday which means john is back Facebook. John is so, back. John is back. <laughs> I have to do the big wake up. Is he back when I'm doing these? When do you go on holiday? I'm here all next week. Oh, thank goodness for that. <laughs> right. So the week after, which is the first week of August, isn't it? John is back in the kitchen. <laughs> and that means we will have to put a lock on the fridge because the reason you miss half the stuff is because he goes wandering up and down. So those, look at those. So you get six of those and look. So they're all individually made. Can you see that? Yeah. They're beautiful. Okay. And then you get four of the medium ones. Look at those. This is going to save your life, girls. You know when you've got that wedding cake and you know you've got to make a load of flowers? Okay. So I'm only doing these two colours at first. If you want other colours, I can get them silver, gold, blue, red. Just message me and I can get them. I can't get them in the assorted box. This is the only two colours that they do in the assorted box. But they do other sizes. But I'm only doing the assorted box first just to see how they go. Because I'd really like you to buy them, taste them, because you're going to go mad. And you're going to say, Carol, I want these in. So these are the medium ones. Look, all hand done. And these are good. I'm not eating one of these. Sorry, guys. And then we've got the larger ones. You get two larger ones. It is. I just need something to ping them out. Because this kitchen's so warm. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> now, would you be able to do that with your rolls? <laughs> hey? What, have we lost the connection? Yeah, that's right. Not you. Oh. You just, just look at me with the roses. Right. Did you see that pop out of that box then? Did no, you not catch it? Did you catch it, Laura? I don't think so. Right. I well, basically, I just pushed it up and it jumped out and miraculously I caught it. You wouldn't be able to do that with a homemade rose now, would you? So these are the larger ones. We are having a meltdown in the kitchen here. Our cameras are failing us. We don't know why, but we're going to keep smiling <laughs> and keep going. So there you go. And you know what would be nice to do with these? Luster them up. So next Thursday, we're going to luster a couple of these up with a few of the nice colours so they don't have to be pink. So we'll bling a few of those up, yeah? So let's get that done. And then we've got the white ones. Okay? So we've got the white ones. So remember, you get six small ones. 
you get four medium ones and two large flowers. They're big them, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So we could glitter these up, we could we could put some lusters on them, we can put hints of pink on them. So we'll have a little play with these next Thursday. So my intention is to play with them this weekend. If I get a chance, I have to get a chance because I need to be ready for you lot. Okay, so I hope you like them. Laura and Maria are currently having a meltdown in the kitchen because we're crashing the cameras. We're not quite sure why our cameras are going down. But this is the wonderful world of internet. So go on, Laura. Uh, Julie Crompton says she got a delivery of her roses today and they're beautiful. Right, there you go. So there well you go. done, Julie. See, that's what we like, straight from a customer who knows and I tell you, Julie, you, you, once you pop one of these in your mouth, you will not let the customer have them. They taste so good. Yeah. Then there's something else that I'm thinking of bringing in. These are not on the website yet, so I'd really like your opinion about whether I should bring these in. So don't go mad live, because I don't want all those other sellers knowing about it, but <laughs> you are sneakily watching today. Um, but should we bring in ready-made lace so you know we did the cake lace demo on monday which is amazing jerry was fabulous and she's coming back by the way on the 8th of october we've got a book back in for so you can buy ready-made cake lace so if you struggle to make it let's open this so we can show you what it is well done rob and Lindsay. they work so hard these admins they're so good but look at this this is ready-made cake lace, so you can put it straight on your cake, Ooh. all flexible, nice, all packaged. You know, you can bend it, look at that. So it's gonna cost you more than making it yourself, but what you have got, you've got the pleasure of knowing you don't have to be stressed in making it. You can dust them up as well. So I'm thinking of bringing these in, and I'd really appreciate your thumbs up or thumbs down, whether you would like them or not. And um, I'm going to bring them in anyhow and let's just try them. Um, I don't know how to open this packet. Let's just see if I can open this packet. Let's go for the tea. We've got scissors in it. We've got scissors there? Oh, yeah. oh, here we have. I've opened it. Too late. Lots of thumbs up to the ready made lace, by the way. Mm -hmm. Look at this beauty. Wow. Now, it, oh, when you buy ready made lace, it only comes in this size. So those of you who want the deep ones, you've got to buy your mats, okay? So you need to buy your mats. If you want to buy your butterfly, if you want to make butterflies, you need your butterfly mats. This is simply just for a band going round the cake and you will need to buy two, okay? So they only come one per packet. You will need to buy two. That will probably just about get round a six inch, six four, four, six, I would say yeah, four, maybe it's four, four inch, I think. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's all it's going to get round. So I think you'll definitely need two. But look at that, look. Vicky Croft said are. that's such a good idea, especially when your oven breaks. Yeah, look at that. Roll that up. Let's undo it. There we go. We can't even damage it. So, shall I get them in? I'll order yes. them today. They'll be on the yes. website by tomorrow night. You can order them over the weekend. We like it, do we? Yes. I think there's a few designs. I'll get a few in then. Let's see how it goes. If I don't sell them, I'll be coming back to you. <laughs> right, so who's next up in the kitchen? I am. Lindsay is. Right, so Lindsay's the other side. Get round here, Lindsay. Now tell us what you're making first. So that's me done, okay? So Lindsay is going to make these. Oh, let me just show you. Look at that with her fridge magnet. You were clever, weren't you? Yeah, look at that. That's a whole bunch. Teacher's pet. Teacher's pet. <laughs> so am I taking this one down now? Do we not need it? Is, are well, you going to try, try and get it working? working? We're trying. Right, okay. So let me just tell you about these, because you spotted this on Karen. On Oh, look at you. You did double-sided. She's getting a bit too good. Huh? Look at you. That means you've got two of these. So the new fridge magnets, okay? So we know we've got, I'm in, I'm in a relationship with sugar and crumbs. I always keep saying I'm in love with sugar and crumbs. That's because I am, okay? So this is the new ones. And what you'll notice is I didn't put my name on. <laughs> I put Laura's name on. So you can call Laura in the office. <laughs> so any of you who struggle with orders, she gets the pleasure of speaking to you. <laughs> so basically, you've got the sugar and crumbs. It's just to let you know that we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And then it tells you on there our website, but you should know it anyhow. Contact in for email. And then you've got the telephone number there. And as for Laura, it does say ask for Carol, but ask for Laura, put her name first. <laughs> 
So we're just going to put those two together. So those are all going out in today's orders, okay? So if you haven't got one, it's because they didn't get released until today. Um, so the pink ones have been out. We will put the pink ones back on. But we're looking to change the magnets all the time, okay? So that you're going to have a massive fridge of I'm in a relationship with sugar and crumbs. Yeah? Right, Lindsay, so what are we making? Lift it up. Today I'm going to be making Shut these up. quick and easy flapjacks. These ones I made last night, these are coconut, but today I'm going to be doing raspberry and white chocolate. Yeah. I'm going to go round to the hop. Oh yeah, you're on the hop, we've all got to go round here. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm in round I'll here. I'll change. <laughs> I'll change, come on girls. And boy. <laughs> Rob. And Rob. <laughs> Is this your stuff or this is this Lindsay's? That's fine, but I'm not going to that back because I'm not going right. to that Yeah, okay. Now to start with, Shout out um, I'm going to use 125 grams of butter. doesn't matter if it's room temperature right. or in the fridge, it's going to get melted anyway. So that goes in the pan like so. So a couple of things, Lindsay, just while yeah. we're here, you've got two ways to look at the camera. Yeah. So when you want to talk to the camera and tell them the recipe, look, look at Laura. Laura. Certainly. And when you're showing them something, you're in the perfect position. No problem. Yeah. So just ask Laura for your advice. Then we're going to add into the pan 100 grams of ice and sugar. Today, I'll go to this pan, Laura. I'm actually using raspberry ripple. You could use any flavor that you want, but today I'm using raspberry ripple. So I'm just checking with everybody, stuff needs to be in the oven. Now, then I'm going to add in some golden syrup. You need four tablespoons, however, to save getting a mess, I like just putting my pan on the scales and weighing in 60 grams. 60 grams is four tablespoons. Right, so you're, they're, they're not going to see that there. So if you can bring that over to the hole, the scale. Yeah, yeah, okay. Sit it on that, turn it on so they can see. Yeah, you will have to shout up, Lindsay. Oh, we so know sorry. that you can speak up. Come on, girl. So I'm just going to squeeze in 60 grams. Doesn't matter when you go over. All right, just let, let Laura get in. Maria get in. Okay, just over, but that doesn't matter. Take the scales away. We don't want them melting. Now I'm just going to put it on a low to medium heat just to get that to melt. I've just got a laugh. Kat Riley's just put a message up there that she's now getting rid of all the kids' photo, all the kids' drawings off the fridge to put all oh, the magnets up. Okay, <laughs> Good girl. I'm doing the same. You're doing the same. You use the magnets to put the kids up yeah, on the Yeah, you could use the magnets to pass it to put the kids up at pictures up on the fun. fridge. Yeah. Stick them on the oven. I don't know how these have managed to fasten them to their tops today. Have we all got wired trousers on? Is that what it is? Oh, two okay. magnets, one inside. Okay. Oh, one inside. two magnets, one inside. Oh, no, God, I tell you, you're just too clever, you lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, this will just take a few minutes to all melt together. Yeah. And this is quite a good recipe because you could mix it up, do any flavours you like. You could do it with the kids. Get them involved. My daughter loves to get involved in the kitchen when mummy's baking. Well, I will say, Lindsay made a batch of these last night, and uh, she made ones. she's made coconut ones. Which one are the coconuts? Is that they're uh, both the same. I just separated right. some. Part. So she made coconut ones last night, and I'm sat here in the kitchen talking to Lindsay. I take, took her out for tea. Lindsay had to work for her tea last night. So she had to bag up the fridge magnets that are going in today's post. Yep, they are so, me. And I was labelling toasted marshmallow at work. Go. You put that down, Laura? Yep. It is slowly starting to melt. Another couple of minutes and we'll there. Then we came home and then I had to finish off doing work on the computer. So I'm sat here with my laptop and Lindsay said, do you mind if I just make another batch to, to test your oven? I said, that's fine, but don't give me one. I'm on a diet. My God, the, the kitchen started smelling fantastic with coconut. And how many did we have? We had two each. Yeah. That's so bad. That's so bad, two each. One I had to go straight bed. out, we were like... Yeah. <laughs> that was so funny. We took one, she took them straight out of the other. We were so greedy, we got one. We both put one in our mouth and we were like... <gasps> they're hot. So don't do that. <laughs> go back to this camera, yeah. As you can see, we're almost there. I 
once the butter's almost all melted, you can actually turn off the heat and then the heat from the mixture does melt the rest. I'll just get that faster. Just to say, those silver pebbles taste amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Usually sprinkles don't taste good, but those do. Today I'm actually doing obviously raspberry with white chocolate. You could use the white chocolate and raspberry flavoured icing sugar, but today I am going to do the raspberry ripple and I'm adding in some Calico white chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter what order in, so I'm going to start off with the porridge oats. I have 250 grams. Chocolate. I have 50 grams of self raising flour. I'll maybe just hang off and add the white chocolate at the end. When you're mixing this, it does look a bit dry to start with, but once you just slowly mix it all together, incorporate everything, and it doesn't actually matter if you didn't put them, like last week when I was giving them a try, it was a little bit short on butter, by 25 grams, and it still turned out fine. So don't, if you don't have a full bar there, don't worry about it too much. That's all that mixed in. I'm now going to add in the white chocolate. grandbaby, I think he's eight weeks, is watching. Ooh, yeah. Mesmerised! <laughs> she's got the biggest eyes though. Ever since she was born though, she's been wide awake and she watches everything. So Rosanna's on. Hi Rosanna! <laughs> With our youngest granddaughter is eight weeks, Bella, <laughs> who's watching the screen. <laughs> I just use a square tin. You could use any tins you like. You could use the disposable ones. Just obviously slightly grease them first. I've just lined mine with um, bacon paper. Right. And I'm just going to pour this in. Get every bit in. Absolutely. <laughs> they are so good. Carol, can yeah. you pass me that spray, please? Yeah, I can do. And what I was actually going to show you, but um, you could actually use the mixture, get some gloves, roll them into little balls and put them on the baking, the baking sheet and bake them and they'll come out like a cookie. But I just thought this is a nice, quick and easier way. You don't want to see me standing here 15 minutes rolling all these balls. So I don't know, you could either put gloves on your hands and you could pat it all down or you could use a spoon when I was doing them last night, it was sticking, so I found just a little bit of coconut oil spray and I just spray a little spray on the back and I just pass it all down. Now these smell amazing already. Pardon? They smell amazing already and they're not even in the oven. I tell you, once they go in the oven, they're good. I mean, the coconut ones smell amazing last night. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm not nice spoon. I've not put enough on, I'm sticking. As you can see, that's the reason why I put the oil. The wings has been slapped that I've not put enough. Now you won't taste this. I mean, it's coconut oil anyway, but you won't taste this once. Don't worry. It's always a nightmare when we go live. <laughs> In fact, um, Rob, can I have those two 
cloths, it's all right. Here we go. There we go. I'll just do that with... I think it's always better to do it with hands. There's no point in me. So well, I do that with the marshmallows. Yeah. I put when I'm doing them, I fold them and then I press them down. If you're ever having to touch a food like that, it's always better when you're munching it down just to just put some gloves on. Now this is a really nice quick recipe. So if your friend was to call you, say that they're coming to visit, you could just whack up a, a set of flat packs. Back jacks and a cup of tea suits and eat fine. Now that's that in there, I'll just take the glove off. Uh, Geraldine, um, sorry, just to answer a couple of quick questions as we go along. It doesn't actually matter what flavour icing sugar you is can, being used, it's no, personal choice. You could do you could any do chocolate sugar, ones. You could do, um, just try to think what we've got. Salted I mean, caramel. Salted caramel. You could do salted caramel. caramel. I mean, you could add, you could do any flavour you like. You could add nuts to these, you could add some dried fruits. You could really do anything you like. Have a play. Um, yeah, you can make everything. So you come out with. Everything in the kitchen that we make, but even though we use that flavour on the day, so everything in the kitchen that we make, guys, even though we use that flavour, you don't have to use that flavour. You just learn to mix and match, make your own flavour. So make salt so, so caramel, make mint chocolate, make um, uh, black cherry ones. That'd be really amazing. Cherry bakewell would be really good. La uh, key, well, maybe not key lime. I like key lime for cheesecake, maybe. I like cheese, the cheesecake and mousse and stuff like that. So go on and say back to you. Right, that's that done. I'm going to stick them in the oven. 160. The recipe I did put on was to say bake for 25 to 30 minutes. But I personally bake mine for 25. But depending on your oven, everyone's oven is different. If they look golden brown and it's before 25 minutes, take them out. That's not a problem. They go right, you're in here. Yeah. Mine's come out. Oh, that's that's good. Good. So, do you want to? Where are we? Do you want to see a jacket? So, Jackie's are out of the oven, so you can see hers. They look good. Wow. Mm. There's brownies, so they just need to be cool. Yeah. While well, Lindsay finishes up, I will put the other ones. They're not brownies. Oh, are blondies. Blondies, don't they? They're blondies. Blondies. Okay. Sorry. They're because they're the same mixture as brownies, yeah. but they're white. Right. So these are blondies, but we'll let her get away with it. Yeah. So she's already made a batch early and decorated for you, and this is the one that she actually made live, been in the oven, and they're now going to go and cool and ro uh, rest. And I'm going to chop the other ones up. We're going to chop the other ones up. So now we've got the only male in the kitchen. Woohoo! So get oh, those thumbs up, guys. Oh, is not finished? Oh, I'm not finished. finished. I was just going to show oh, a quick... I'm just going to quickly wash my hands. Sorry, I was dying to get the blokes in. <laughs> you have to wait, Rob. You'll have to wait for his big moment. <laughs> he doesn't have to get a load of stick here with these women in the kitchen, can you imagine? But he has got John coming saving the day because we're all going for dinner afterwards. So you'll have another man friend to talk to. Nothing worse when we go in this, re when we go in this restaurant later. All, right, all us girls. Very good communicator is Rob. He gets on very well with John. Says nothing. Sorry. That's all right. What I've got here is um, just some of the batch from last night. And what I'm doing, just is to give it an extra finish, is I'm just melting some white chocolate and then I'm just going to drizzle them over the top. Is the chocolate coming on, Rob? In the game. Never do burn it. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Is it not suffered yet? I think the bag's gone. Oh, they are Robston and Carol McFarlane. Oh, no. 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 Robston, no. what Carol does, you should have done it yourself. This is why yeah. I don't do it. Because after <laughs> Jack, it's no problem. But not to worry. Just an extra little tip. Doesn't matter, you could do it. I mean, obviously, I'm doing raspberry white chocolate. So yeah, I've got more, you've got more white chocolate out there. Do you want to do it yourself? So, okay. should we get, go oh, and get the chocolate oh. out there, and then you can do it yourself. Mm. How did you do that, Rob? Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm good. I am good, but Rob is better than me. Look at that, Lisa. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, we now got somebody else who can't melt chocolate in the kitchen, <laughs> as well as Carol McFarland. I can't do it. This is what happens to me. We are not quite sure what's gone on. 
<laughs> just, while, just while Lindsay's doing that, I'm just going to recap on the recipe if that's okay. Uh, so we've got a couple of people who might have missed a little bit. So we've got 100. Let me just interrupt you first. Everyone. Pat Riley's nosing around on the website, and I have got the wrong image up on the Madam and Butterfly mat. I do keep putting the right image up, and what I'm going to have to do is it obviously likes the other image on the website, and it keeps replacing it. So I will sort it. Tell you what, Cat Riley, you need to come and work for us. You're too good. Right, go on, Laura. So, flapjack recipe, we've got 125 grams of butter, 100 grams of the flavoured icy sugar, and again, it's a flavour of your choice. Four tablespoons of syrup, but what, um, what is the easiest method is actually to weigh it into the pan, so it takes it up to 60 grams. Then you've got 250 grams of your parry jokes. 40 grams of your white chocolate chips, again that's dependent on what flavour you're using and what you want to put in. 50 grams of self-raising flour and once everything's into the tin which has been lined, it goes into the oven at 160 for around 25 to 30 minutes, basically until it's brown. Yoohoo! Well done. Right, are we done? Not yet, just going to right. The one thing we do need to remember, my microwave is the top heated one. So that's why it goes wrong, so you have to really keep watching it. So before I normally do like open pan water? Well, yeah. Yeah, we might have to do these afterwards, because I have one of those fancy microwaves that doesn't have a turntable in as well. So, uh, and it is, it is high, so we'll just see how that's we go. Fair. So if we put those over there, we can come back to those, can't okay. we? Yeah. Are you using the food mixer, Rob? Yes. Right, so there we go. So Rob is on. Let me just bring over the food mixer because we've lost the camera over here. So we are going to bring the food mixer over here and um, what will you be able to see? If I put it here, we'll just move things around. Will you be able to see there? Yes, just about. Just about. Okay, so Rob, you are working in a very tight space. Yeah. So guys, get those thumbs and love hearts up. We've got the only male in the kitchen today. It's Rob Allen Woo. from uh, the Twitter Bake Along of Twitter. That you have seen him before. He is a great guy. He's very softly spoken and he is shy. But we bring the best out of him, don't we, Rob? Come on, get over here. So, we on? Have we got two cameras going or not? No? So do we need this is camera working? Yeah. Yeah. So Rob, you've got me working this side and there, they can see. Right, so we almond biscuits. But what we do with them, we bring them up a little bit and make them with all different flavours. And today I'm going to use cherry bakewell and make them into bakewell bites. Having the past some coffee, lemon and different flavours. And it all starts, it's quite quick, it's an easy one to do while your kids are off school. Get the kids involved. One egg white. Right, we we are struggling to see what you're doing you, there, Rob. Can you? Yes, that's a bit yeah. Better. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, Rob. Sorry, it's going to be really awkward for you. <laughs> Separate the egg yolk and the egg white. Okay, and that. Into your mixer, and you can beat that till you're in a firmish pink. I'm just going to leave that there because you need to be there all the time. Okay, and everybody's glad to see you here, Rob. In fact, everyone's been very good. They've been pleased to see us all. Well done. They've done well, actually. We're only into an hour of this, eh? Hey? Well, I think I might sack myself. Right, it right, feet up. You then almond, ground almonds. You want 120 grams of ground almonds. So you pour in your bowl. Along with 100 grams of your flavoured ice cream sugar. Mix together. You 
can, if need be, add a teaspoon of the icing and sugar to your egg whites to get it put together quicker. Just put a little white egg white in your bowl. One egg white is about 45 grams in weight. So the admin here, people are asking what have we been doing today, four recipes on the website today via the admins. This is, this is the admins from the community group. We've got a lot of noise in here, we've got an air conditioning unit, we've got a food mixer, so we are going to shout as loud as we can. It seems it's only me who's got a big voice box. <laughs> Everybody else is lovely, soft and delicate. Geraldine Kisby says it's nice to see a bloke in to bake as well as the same with children's food. So, um, Sam Smith, what was before the icing sugar? Sorry, didn't catch it. What did you put in before one icing? Egg, one egg white. One egg white. One large. Uh, egg white. So do you want to just re start the recipe from the beginning for me a minute? Yeah, so in the bowl went one egg white, it's about 45 grams in weight, and just whip it up, whisk it up, and if it's taking a while to come together, froth up, put one teaspoon of your icing and sugar in with your egg white, right. until you've got a roughly a firm peak. And That's how much icing sugar did you, are you go, did you ask? Add? It is um, 120 grams of your ground almonds, yeah. your bowl and with that 100 grams of your icing and sugar. Right, so it's 120 grams of ground almonds, 100 grams of flavoured icing sugar, they've gone in the same bowl and you're going to add Ice that to the up. egg white. Yeah and what it does, once it's done you mix that up when your egg white is a roughly stiffish peak, firm stiff peak, just mix it all together with a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. Fantastic. <laughs> And I'll stand here with Laura, so next time you're talking to us, you're talking to me at the camera. <laughs> I forgot you were talking to me. <laughs> you could if you wanted to tip it over. Maria said, make sure it is. Maria, the hottest day, we're all sweating like mad, and Maria has still got her cardigan on. I cannot believe it. There's I've something wrong. Since the air conditioning went on. I've only just turned it off again two minutes ago. Before we went live, she didn't have a cardigan on. <laughs> Because we didn't have the aircon on then. I don't know. Yeah, so, all your egg white, your beaten egg white, into your bowl. So we're just, we're, you're having problems with the camera to see Laura. So Rob, can you, you need to get that bowl right up to where that... So we finished with this mixer now. Perfect, yay. Thank right. you Right, and then we need to yes. make sure you keep that. Is that there, yeah? Yep. Perfect. And then you just That's your guide. Fold in the dry mix and the wet mix together. Is that over camera not working yet? That one's stuck. Yeah, that one's off. Oh yeah, good. It's very hard when you're in the kitchen knowing that you you have to work at strange angles in here because we're trying to we're trying to look at it and work it as we would work as a yeah. human, but then realise we've got to do it the opposite <laughs> side so you guys can see it. It's quite hard, isn't it? Just a quarter teaspoon of almond extract. If you wanted, you could use amaretto or serrano yeah. as well. Get you. That's it. Boozy one. Yeah. So I see Jules, our other admin, is watching us as well. She couldn't be here today. She was at the hospital. Hi, so she's Jules. Hi, Jules. Hi, Jules. So she's just doing a sneaky peek. There's six admins actually. Uh, Laura is on holiday, the other Laura, my daughter, and uh, Jules couldn't make it today. So that's it, once it's done, just like a firm paste. You want to there, please? Yes. Yeah. What is 
that one now. <laughs> and from doing it previously in the past, I know that sort of mix you get between 10 and 12 biscuits. Yeah, super. And being as how I am, what I would do when I'm doing it, I'll weigh out each biscuit and get them all the same size uniform. But because we don't have a bit of a schedule today, we'll not do that. Then what you need is your bacon tray and line it with parchment or one of these reusable liners. Uh -huh. So Jane Temple, Rob is making cherry bakewell bites. So um, you can make them with any flavour, but he's using the cherry bakewell flavoured icing sugar today. Um, and you've got that. Some more of the icing sugar in the set before. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Elaine. She says she takes her hat off to all of you. You are all doing a fantastic job. Thank you. So thank, thank you, you, Elaine. I hope you all like it as well. Come on, let's get a couple of those love hearts up. Let's come on, let's tell everybody how chuffed you are that they're I'm here. Going do, I'm going to do first of all is roughly divvy it up. Divvy it up? Is that the word? <laughs> divvy it up? Divvy it up, right. You know, these guys have travelled a long way. Rob is from Sunderland. He travelled down last night and Jackie has put him up for the weekend. Well, for the night, is it? Uh, is it? tomorrow. He's, oh, he's oh, getting two night. nights spending breakfast, is it? Uh, right. tonight. <laughs> Lindsay, Lindsay and daughter have travelled down from Edinburgh. They're getting two nights bed and breakfast Sorry. with me. Hi. I'm just 40 minutes north of Edinburgh. All right, okay, yeah, Scotland to me, it's all yeah. Edinburgh. <laughs> so, and then there's us local girls, which is Karen, um, Jackie, myself, Laura. Maria's from Spain, but she lives here now, around the corner. Look at those love hearts, I am so pleased. It's so nice for you to let everybody know, you know, that these guys are working hard. They do it for nothing. As you know, everybody comes in demos in the kitchen. They give up their time. They bring, they spend the money on their recipes. They bring everything with them. You know, they've had a practice before they come. So it really, you know, do appreciate what that they do in this kitchen. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate you for watching as well. And thanks for the invite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, are you happy for the invite? Yeah. Good. <laughs> We love you back. <laughs> <laughs> That's you back in the kitchen, Karen. <laughs> well, just you've got it all used. Margaret Cuth Cuthbertson is from Scotland as well. Where about Margaret? Do you know Margaret? No, but I'm going to ask her. Oh, whereabouts? <laughs> Where about? I didn't, I didn't understand the Scottish accent then. Oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Karen. What? I'm all over the place. I only need the Irish fella to come in soon. That's me. I've lost. Do you want to start talking Spanish, Maria? And let's lose us all. <laughs> okay. Normally, if I'm in the house making for ourselves, I don't have other gloves, but hygiene and all. Yeah. So, if you have a small bowl, just roll them around in more icing and sugar. And then. Stand them on your tray. Mm. Leave a little space between each to allow them to grow. I like how you're throwing that ice and sugar about the kitchen there, Rob. <laughs> Don't worry. No, We've got no. plenty of people who throw everything around here. No, no. no one body didn't do it at my house. <laughs> now we're done just to kind of solve. So Margaret is from Clyde Bank. Clyde Bank, that's yeah. West Coast. Coast. That, yeah, that's near yeah. Glasgow. Alison is from Edinburgh. Alison Hodgson. Hodgson. Wendy Champion says, love you all. Thanks for sharing and your expertise. Cat yeah. Riley, Maria said, you can't go back because we've not given you your passport back. <laughs> <laughs> You're so good, Cat Riley. You're so good. She doesn't forget anything, does she? No. So we just need to now pin down Laura in the kitchen with her contract in August and on her <laughs> commitment to Facebook Doing Live. And that's what I've a punishment earlier. If Laura doesn't speak or start speaking up, our punishment is to bake on Facebook Live. Yes, we need to do it. We need to see the camera. You keep speaking down, Laura, because you're on that camera next. <laughs> Don't you worry. But they're all waiting for your live. The comments yeah. are coming up now. We want Laura. We want yeah. Laura. <laughs> So these are cute, aren't they? They rise quite big, don't they? Because look at those there. Some, so some of the ones here, like that one, yeah. is a bit flatter. 
than the likes of that one because then I flattened them a little bit, bit jam in the middle. Right, I was just going to ask you, I've never had these before, Rob. So what would you do? Would you cut them in half and put jam in? No. Are they like a little scone? Are they that, a biscuit? That there. A biscuit. I'll do the same as what I'm doing biscuit. here. Yeah. But all I'll do is flatten it with my hand. Yeah. A little bit of jam in the middle, round, oh. the, bis round the biscuit. Like that's the sealant. Ah, oh. oh, that'd be nice. See, you weren't letting that secret out till we asked, did you? <laughs> no, a bit of jam would be nice. And then a nice warm, but obviously if you've got the jam in the middle, you can eat them hot. Yeah. So Anne Hay says, Laura did a great job covering the other week. She did. She got a pat on the back off John and I. We were very impressed. That's why we know she'll be great yeah. at making a cake. <laughs> <laughs> so Carol Ann is from Bury, the home of the famous black pudding, which is oh, near you, Karen. Black pudding. Oh. Scottish people, have, Scottish people have Agus and do they have white pudding? Mm -hmm. Yeah, John's from yeah. Ireland, he has white pudding. I've got a lot of pork. Agus, don't they? Pork and black pudding, sausage rolls well, on a Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. In our church shop, we actually get our haggis pudding, black pudding, white pudding, bread yeah. pudding. So we yeah. got a dozen biscuits and, and one extra. Chef's oh, treat. Chef's treat, <laughs> absolutely. We've got to have a chef's treat. Yeah, I'm a readers in this case. <laughs> so Lindsay Cunningham is from your part of the world. She was from Sunderland and she's a fellow Macken. Do you call them Macken? Macken's. Macken's. Macken's from Sunderland, Geordie's from Newcastle. Oh, is that how it goes? I've never heard of Macken's. Right, okay. Hello, Lindsay. Uh, Elaine Lawson said, could you put chocolate inside? I don't see any reason why not. Yeah, just uh, some yeah. chocolate being in the fridge or the freezer, a little square of chocolate in the middle. Well, of I would think that you could use Nutella, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's the same yeah. as jam, isn't it? Oh, yeah. all them spreads that I yeah. use, you know, like the dairy milk. So Yvonne, um, John, the mysterious John, now and again, you do spot him on the camera. He does hide behind the camera quite a lot. So here we go, Rob, go on. back to you. All right, so that's it. The We're done. Or the end point of an oven, preheated oven, 160 degrees for 20, 18 to 20 minutes. Super, let's get those in the oven. So you don't see um, John very often. Uh, lots of people do meet him at the cake shows and we'll talk about the cake shows in a minute and then we will all be done. Let's get all the admins back on with all their goodies. So, are you done now, Rob? That's, yeah. done. That's done? Yeah. Right, okay, let's run around the front then. Um, is the icing sugar cherry bake well icing sugar that Robert is rolling in? Yes, he is. Yeah, great. Maria's face, I think, went to heaven. Yeah, Maria's having a great time now. <laughs> Maria didn't realise she was on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> what was she doing? She was rolling her eyes as though, wow, I can't wait to see this. <laughs> Maria is the slimmest person in the kitchen here and eats yeah, everything. She is so good. She <laughs> eats everything. So let's get this lot all together and then we. we it's going to be a very quick ride, this. We're nearly done. So here we go. We've got this on. Got these on. Let's get these back to ice and sugar. Where's the pineapple? Make the ice and sugar. Salted caramel. Where's your bake? Where's your blondies, Karen? No, my blondies. Oh, Karen. your blondies. You've got your blondies. Pineapple got chunks. Pineapple chunks. Yes. There we go. Right, guys, come on, run the camera. And we have them behind the flapjacks, and we've got room Can we there. Can we behind the flapjacks? I'm not going to get them there. There? Please, okay. yeah. So we can get them there. Two, three, four. Three, four. Are we in? Yeah. Yes, in? perfect. Are they all in? They are all in now. Can you that in? Oh, it is now. They're all in now. Thank you. Right, okay. So come on, team. Let's get round here. Yeah. So we can all say our goodbyes. Yeah. <laughs> that's been a quick session. Yeah, that's been a quick session. Let's just get those. Crikey. We know how to do a team lot, that's lot, don't we? Right, so um, thank you for joining us in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen today. As you can see, it's been a very busy kitchen on this hot, sunny day. We have got the admins in. I've invited them down for dinner for a little punch-up chat afterwards. Mm. We need to have a chat. <laughs> Look, they're all nervous. Oh, no. <laughs> so, the drinks. <laughs> take him to a restaurant so that they're safe. So, um, anyhow, so the, but to, part of that was they had to come and bake. And I just thought it's a nice bit of fun. Let's do a little 15 minute session. So, let's just quickly go over. So, the first one up was Jackie. And she did. What are you doing, Maria? Taking the camera away. I'm here. Have you seen her? She's so eager for a tea. She's so eager for a tea. She took the camera away. Get it out of Jackie's face. All right. So eager for a dinner.
in her. Look at that. She's whizzed off with the camera. Right. Okay. We're Let's right stop now. it wiggling. Right. Are we there? Can we, we see are. these? Yeah. Perfect. Right. So look, she's gone red. <laughs> <laughs> we know you like cake, Maria, but check it in. She's even took her cardigan off now. An excitement. <laughs> right. So we've done these fantastic blondies. The recipes on the website. I never heard of blondie tea before until I met Jackie, but basically it's a brownie, but it's white. So yeah. instead of having chocolate in, it's white. These are made with salty caramel and peanuts, and I have already had a sneaky, tiny, itsy witsy taste, and they taste good. Is anybody going to have one? Who wants to start munching while we're live? No, we've got those not today. Live. <laughs> yeah, not live. Okay, so those are those off Jackie. I didn't say I was sharing these. <laughs> and then second up, we had Karen. Okay, Hi. so this is Karen Naylor, another admin. By the way, this is Jackie, who's managed to hide behind the camera here that Maria was moving. So can you see those? Yep, perfect. So these are pineapple um, bites. Oh. Crumble bites, mm -hmm. okay, and you can make them with apple, you could make them with um, other fruits, I presume. I think yeah. you could make them with any fruits, yeah, haven't we? Yeah. So, uh, got a lovely crumble, you could just bite into them, they're very moist, they're really very nice, and they taste very fresh. Um, me personally, I would, would like a jug of custard with them. Yeah. Karen, nothing wrong with that. But yeah. she knew I was on a diet and I can't help them. So I no started jug, one of those this morning. No jug, of, over. no jug of custard was supplied. Right, so there you go. So that was used with the pineapple flavour, and I would just stop bashing the wiggly camera can I around. Just take my yeah. flat jacks out the oven. You can. So what we'll do, we'll jump over to Rob. So Job is Rob. Job. Rob. Job. Rob. Job. 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 <laughs> So uh, Rob has awesome. made these fantastic cherry bake well bites. Again, you can make these with any flavour, and these are these look great. They start up tiny, they do rise, and as Rob has said, can you see those on there? All right, Laura. So as Rob has said, you can fill the centres um, with jam or um, chocolate, as Elaine Morton asked. Could you put chocolate in them? I think Nutella would be fantastic to put in. Very easy, and then. Yours are out of the oven. Are you coming back? Are you just putting them on the warming tray? Do you want to stick them on there? Or should we show them out of the oven? Right, we're all going to just move because these are red hot. Get around. <laughs> so everything's been baked fresh. So what we made earlier? Mm -hmm. We have here. Oh, you have to go further over there, I think. Yeah. Yes. Perfect. So there they are. They look good. So we'll just uh, light golden brown colour. The recipe does say to actually let them cool but sometimes I can't wait and I just like to take them out at home usually I use like my dough cutter or you could use a pizza cutter and I just cut them into like bite sized pieces I get about I think 25 pieces from yeah. that no. yeah <laughs> 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 So we can go back on this camera, you can put them over there so that they're going to cool down. And um, we were going to actually drizzle them with white chocolate, but we're having a little bit, bit, we're having a little bit of a meltdown with my microwave. My microwave is really very tricky. So I'm really pleased it's not me who ruins it. After all, it is the microwave. It's quite a little fancy technical thing. And I don't know how to turn it on and off. I think the white chocolate's not a, like milk chocolate does melt easier. Mm. I maybe would have been better doing it over a pan, but obviously with time and that, it just takes them a little bit longer, so. I think I don't like But you don't have to have white chocolate, that's just an extra, you know, that's just an extra. Just yeah, exactly. Jazz it up. But we didn't have them last night, we had them piping up, coconut yep. ones. So those flapjacks, you can make them with any flavour. I think mint chocolate would be nice, chocolate twist would be nice. The, the raspberry ripples smell amazing, so they do smell good. I know that these coconut ones taste nice. We had these hot and we had them warm, because the hot ones we were... <laughs> Okay, so we did a bit of a dance. Yeah. So um, I showed you all the new products. I've not put everything in today's uh, Facebook uh, wish list. So any of you who wants to buy anything today, you just pop over to the Sugar and Crumbs website. If you go to shop, you've got new arrivals in shop. Everything that's new and on the website is there. If you want to go to brands, choose brands, or you could go right the way along the website to Facebook wish list, drop down and you'll see party admin today. And while these guys are cleaning up the kitchen, I'm going to put everything that's new that's come into the shop today, this week, into that link so that you can see them. Uh, the cake lace strips that I showed you are not on sale yet, but seems that so many of you are interested in them, I'm going to give them a whirl. So just a quick thank you to everybody. Get those thumbs up. And thank you to you for joining us. Make sure you're here on Monday, an early start. 7.30, who's going to be here? Watch Dawn Butler. It's an amazing, if anybody wants to know anything about airbrushing, 
she is the woman she, she knows everything there's nothing that she can't tell you she's going to answer all your questions she's going to tell you how to use the previous dinky doodle machines she will help you out with everything she's been asking questions on the group she's met, she's printed them all off she's got the answers ready and that's why it's going to be a long session I'm going to shout out the questions while she works because obviously she can't stand here talking asking questions you want to see her answering them so we're going to shout them out in order make sure you're here half past seven Monday two and a half hour session we are going to try and have a little sneaky break we probably will because cameras will crash but anyhow <laughs> <laughs> so and then and then on Thursday I'm going to come back I'm going to do FMM uh, mix and match face cutters. I've never used them before, so I'm going to play with them over the weekend. And I'm going to put some of those roses on a cake. And as the girl said, on some cupcakes, they will look great. And we'll see you then. So thank you for joining us today. Um, a big thumbs up for everyone. And goodbye. See you on Monday. Have a fantastic, hot, sunny weekend. Bye-bye.